All right, today I'm making a video on how to flip the lids on this freezer number model 56, I believe. So here's the latches, right? I've already took it off on one side. I'm just gonna put this on and uh, show you how I, I removed it. So what happens here is that there's a spring-loaded clip here or oh, like a round round uh, tubing with spring loaded you push that up you push it up and then you can push this forward um, once you do one side it'll be cockeyed like this and then you're able to remove this one and that's how you take the lid off for one side so I'm gonna flip these around and put them on the other side so then now what you need to do next is remove the caps with the flathead screwdriver unscrew these unfortunately these screws came out fairly easy a little too easy looks like it has blue loctide so i may reapply blue loctide or maybe just not and just install it and see how well it does but yeah they're pretty soft how they came out pretty loose so and then on this other side you remove the cap and then you remove a little bit of the uh, i guess the factory uh, foam little peel it off right there remove that and then this is the flathead screwdriver that I use oh, oh, that's a fill up I'm trying to look at the camera and record at the same time so you know a little flathead screwdriver pop that out so uh, so now you put this thing here this bracketry screw that back in there now that cap bring it over here and vice versa put these caps over here once you're done then you grab this baby here and flip her around again these deals here are spring loaded on both sides not sure if you can see that that's the thing here you push that back in with a flathead screwdriver and then push this forward on one corner and then they'll uh, release it and then the reason why I'm flipping my fridge is because I want this fridge to be facing me when I'm driving <clears throat> I want this fridge to be passenger in the back strapped down for now later I'll, I'll set it up and maybe flip it back but I want to be able to see my panel and open the fridge this way on the rear passenger part of the cargo van all right so this is the uh, Vito and how to re reposition your lids. Uh, this model number is 95DZW. It's a great fridge. It's got two compartments. Oh, since I'm doing this, might as well just do a video on this, right? It's got two compartments. Uh, it's a big fridge, uh, second to the biggest. And I'm really happy with it. So it's going to be this model here. Um, yeah, I thought about these guys, but. Like anything, you always want that extra room for food and can't go wrong with it. So once you go here, you might as well just go this direction. If you're gonna go small, and then yeah, I would probably go around here. I want a couple of these guys right here. This one's pretty good. I was tempted for this one, but I hope I don't regret this big one here that I bought. Um, I doubt it. Look how big it is. I mean, it goes deep down in here. You could do this freezer or, fr or, or fridge. Same here with this one, freezer or fridge. It's got a divider here that I removed. And yeah, it's, it's, it's big. Look at my hand. Yeah, I got a pretty big hand, so. And look how deep it is up to my elbow. The flat hand there and elbow. And uh, really happy with the fridge. So far, I only owned it for uh, about uh, a week. A week I went to the uh, uh, Overland Expo in, in Flagstaff, Arizona, 2017. And then what I did also, I'm sure you guys might have noticed on the video, I, I made a caster, some caster wheels. Now as well, I'll do this now. Since the video's going, yeah, I have my little jacket here that I'm gonna install later on too. <coughs> so what I'm gonna do here, if I can do this with one hand, maybe not, I'm gonna show you guys. You know what, I need to put the camera down. You know how it is. YouTube video people. <laughs> this 
is what I made yesterday. Uh, I bought these wheels from Harbor Freight. They're four inches. I bought eight bucks each. They got the locking wheel. That's why I went with caster all the way four inch. And then I made a one inch square tubing. Then I put a plate. Then I uh, screw this in and I welded a nut. And then whatever thread was remaining up high, I cut that down, spray painted it black, and I did that. And this is about an inch to an inch, two inch and a half. Yeah, two inches and two inches and a half. I, I gave a little bit of extra here in case if I need to put a, a cross support, which I don't. This is very strong. I haven't tested with a fridge full of food yet, but uh, really happy with it. And also, I measured it here to line up with the existing round deals here where the stands so the frame goes from here to here so when I put the jacket on whatever you call that uh, I can still put the wheels on it and not worry about modifying or ripping to modify this cover so yeah guys uh, I'd recommend this fridge it there's a plenty of room in there look at that all right signing off good luck guys